Hello! This is Carrie Livingood, and welcome to MyGlue. MyGlue is a simple, smart, and secure solution to help protect and share your documents and passwords. SysAdmin has been utilizing this database to store documentation we have collected for your company, and now you will have access to some of these internal records as well. You can also use it to save your own documents and passwords. Think of this as your database or your company's information safe. Instead of either keeping important passwords in your mind or on a post-it note, you can now save these sensitive passwords in a secure environment. We want to show you how to add your own documents, contacts, and passwords to your MyGlue page. After you log in to your MyGlue account and select your company site, you will be welcomed to your home page. Here, you will have different sections like Recently Viewed by You, Your Important Contacts, Recently Updated Files in MyGlue, Popular or Regularly Used Passwords, Upcoming Expirations of Assets Registered in MyGlue, and more. These sections will update automatically as you continue using MyGlue and will populate shortcuts for ease of access. Though you have these quick links on your home page, the main locations you will need to have access to are located on the left-hand side of your home page. These are the contacts, documents, and passwords. In the documents section, you can create your own files, processes, or even upload documents you already have. To do this, click on the Documents tab. This will relocate you to the main page for your documents, where you will see your folders and any files already saved to your MyGlue. In this tutorial, we will show you how to import files from your computer and how to create a new document from within MyGlue. To import files, open your File Explorer and go to the file you would like to add. Left-click, hold, and drag the file to your MyGlue page then release. This is the easiest method for uploading your files to your company site. To create a new document, click on the new icon and select document. In the document creator, you are able to create four different boxes to customize your file. Heading, text, step, and gallery. Document creating from within MyGlue is best used for creating processes, and these boxes can help you create one with ease. First, you will need to name your document. Then, for this tutorial, we will show you what each of these different options can do. The heading option allows you to create a subheading within your process to section off certain pieces. Create headings to best organize your process. The text option allows you to type any information that correlates to the document you are trying to create. This also has a text editor where you can change the style, font, create tables, and more. The step option is very similar to the text option. However, when you create the document, the step boxes will adopt a number so that you can follow your process step by step. Use this when numbering your procedures or creating instructions. Lastly, the gallery icon allows you to upload an image. You can also upload images with the step option, but the gallery option only requires that you upload an image and does not need to have any text associated with it. You will also notice on the side that you can link outside sources within MyGlue to this document for ease of access. The most notable of these is the security feature. By changing the security, this will enable you to limit the people who have access to this file. Before creating a document, if you would like to share this with your sysadmin team, you will need to change the security features of the document to include them. Do this by clicking on the security arrow, navigate to the IT Glue groups, and select all. Use the document creator to best create your ideal processes and procedures from within MyGlue. The next section that you will be using frequently is the contacts. This is where you can save all of your company contacts with all of their information. To create a new contact, navigate to the new icon and select contact. This will open a new page where you can input as much information as you need. This is the perfect place for you to store your internal contacts, vendor contacts, and more. Start by typing in their first name, last name, and title. You can also organize the contact by their type. 
Next, decide if this is an important contact. Important contacts will show up on your company's home page. Next, add any email addresses or phone numbers associated with this contact. And lastly, the security section is where you decide who has access to this contact. Much like the documents, if you want to share this contact with your sysadmin team, change the settings here so that they have permission to view as well. The last page you will be using within MyGlue is the password section. This section is where you can safely and securely store any sensitive passwords. To save a new password, navigate to the new icon and select password. This will open a new page where you will enter information about this password. Start with a name or title for this password. In this example, we will be adding a company Amazon account, so we will name this Amazon Company Account. Feel free to select a category for this password. Next, input the username needed to log in with this account. In this case, we are adding an email. Next, type in the password needed to log into this account. If you are creating a new account or you need to renew a password, MyGlue does have an option where it will generate a password for you to copy and paste into your web browser. However, in this situation, we already have a password, so we will add it to the password section. If there are any one-time passwords associated with this account, add that information below. Next, if applicable, you can provide a link to the website this account is associated with. In this case, we will be adding the Amazon.com URL. Lastly, if there are any additional notes you would like to add to this password, you can add it to the notes section. Select the save option and this will add the password to your MyGlue. Much like the contacts and the documents, there is also a section after you save your password on the side that allows you to access the security of this password. If you would like to share this password with your sysadmin team, select the option to share with them from your security tab. Thank you for taking the time to go over your new MyGlue interface. If you are running through these steps and it is not working for you, or if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to reach out to us and we will be happy to help.